Heights. We have new details tonight about a house fire in Weathersfield Township. That fire happened overnight, and we now know one person died inside that home. First News reporter Tyler Trill is live in studio with brand new information about what happened here. Lauren Weathersfield Fire Chief Randall Pugh told me they recovered a man's body from the house on Tibbetts Wick this afternoon. I spoke with the next door neighbor who says the man living in the home was a quiet man. He kept to himself. She was at a loss for words today as she looked at where a house stood just 24 hours ago. Judith Lather looked on as crews continued the recovery process. 11 hours after a fire broke out at her neighbor's house, not much remains. I was in the house watching TV and I heard a loud pop and I looked out the window and seen an uh, orange flashing light. And I ran out the front door to see the neighbor's house on fire. Ohio fire marshals continued their investigation of the fire Saturday morning. The fire, which started late Friday night, ripped through the home, taking a roof and an entire side of the house with it. Weathersfield Fire Chief Randall Pugh says the owner had a lot of belongings inside the home, belongings that are now ash instead of whole. The only thing that could easily be identified was this empty picture frame that no longer holds a photo, but instead buried in burnt wood. Cars were towed from the house today. They were sitting on hubcaps, not tires. Lather says when the vehicle's wheels popped last night, she thought her home was next. Well, it exploded, and when it not exploded, the lines were, the wires were down and everything, so yeah, I was afraid it was going to come to my house if it wasn't contained quick enough. It took Weathersfield, Liberty, Hubbard, and Viana Fire Departments to fight the fire. Now, this is still a developing story. The Ohio Fire Marshals continue to investigate the fire, and the identity of the body has not yet been released. Stick with us on air and on the web at WKBN.com for the latest. In studio, Tyler Trill, 27 First News at 6.